Alright everybody, welcome to a simple GIMP tutorial on how to create animation uh, slash GIF or GIF files in, uh, in GIMP. So let's go ahead and start this video off by uh, minimizing this little window here. Alright, so notice that, that I said uh, this is going to be a simple tutorial. Um, it's not going to be too advanced. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys the basics of how to create a simple animation um, or GIF file in GIMP. Uh, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and uh, begin. Alright, so um, by default when you open GIMP, um, there's going to be a blank screen here. Um, to basically get this uh, white palette here, I'm going to want to go ahead and go File, New, and uh, you'll get this little uh, Create New Image uh, kind of box, and you're just going to want to choose um, your um, your kind of image size here. And I already chose uh, the 645 400 for mine, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. Alright, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'm just going to go ahead and create a quick pair of eyes here using the uh, brush tool or paintbrush tool here. Alright, so a simple circle over there and another simple circle over here. Alright, and I'm going to undo that really quickly uh, just so I can get kind of a little more refined circle. I realize these aren't the, uh, the best circles um, that I could draw but uh, they should do for this short. Alright, so there we go. We have our simple pair of eyes there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a simple animation of these uh, eyes just kind of closing there. And uh, so it makes it look like, um, um, like I guess they're kind of closing or sleeping or drowsy or whatever. Um, so yeah, so at the end of the uh, animation, we'll go ahead and have the eyes just kind of uh, with the eyelids just closing down uh, for both the eyes. Alright, so um, basically what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and uh, access our layers, which right now um, we are in our layers tab, as you can see here. Um, there aren't any layers, but really there are, even though it looks like there aren't. Um, we actually do have a first layer. Um, by default, when you open up GIMP, um, you actually do already start out with a layer. Um, it's just kind of hidden, uh, mostly. Um, so to unhide it, basically, or access it, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit this uh, little drop-down menu here. As you can see, that it says uh, Untitled 1, and that is actually our, um, our basically our layer that we have opened right now. So I'm going to go ahead and double-click that, and oh, there we go. Alright, so as you can see, we have our uh, first layer here, and we can preview it. And with this little eye, we can turn on and off to uh, basically uh, hide it or unhide it. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. Um, but before I do, I just want to go over something really quickly here. Um, let's say you were creating a, a um, uh, let's say, I guess an animation out of uh, photos um, that you have collected and put on your computer. Um, instead of creating an actual custom animation in GIMP itself. Um, so to do that, if you want to uh, basically create an animation using photos, um, you would go file and open and basically you'd go from there and select the file that you'd want to open and then it would open up a GIMP and uh, you basically you'd have to access the layer of it obviously and uh, and basically go from there um, or you could also go to the image um, that you want um, and copy it and then open up a GIMP uh, create a new layer and just paste it in here and go from there um, so just a little heads up if you're using photos um, but I, in this case, I'm not using photos. I'm just creating a custom uh, animation within GIMP itself. Um, so anyway, just wanted to let you guys know as a little FYI there. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, continue on with this. Ah, excuse me, with this tutorial. <coughs> um, so anyway, as you can see, we already have our first layer here, as I just said. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. So we're going to go down here to um, this little duplicate button here. Kind of click it once. As you can see, now we have our background copy. Um, which basically by default the layer is named background and I'm not going to go ahead and bother renaming that because this is just a animation tutorial. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and click on our background copy um, layer to show that it is selected. Alright, so next thing we're going to do is now I don't really need to do this um, because this is a pretty, for the most part, a pretty simple um, kind of a little, um, I guess, setup here. Um, but if this was a, let's say this was a little bit more complicated of a, uh, of kind of a, maybe a whole character or something like that. Um, if you were going to animate it within GIMP, um, a really good thing to do would be to go up here to the opacity slider and just want to click on here and slide it down. 
And let me go ahead and uh, click back on here. And let's go ahead and draw maybe like an eyebrow or something. And let's see. Oh, hang on. Okay, there we go. All right, so let me go ahead and just hide this really quick. There we go. All right. Uh, there we go. So now we have our two eyebrows, and I'll go ahead and unhide this now. And so we can basically see the uh, top layer of, um, of our little drawing here, or our eyeballs. And I'm going to go ahead and click on it to uh, basically now be able to edit it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab the opacity slider here. I'm going to click and drag it just a bit to the left here. And as you can see, when I uh, kind of drag it more to the left, we can see more and more um, of what um, the layer underneath looks like. And um, if we could do this for multiple layers as well. Um, but we only have one layer beneath here, so um, it only shows the one below. Um, so anyway, this could be used for a number of things, whether you want to copy or just do, maybe let's say we wanted to do just a little bit more up there of an animation. Um, so we wanted the eyebrows to move up for some weird reason. Um, but yeah, we could basically use that as kind of a background reference uh, to get it exactly how we want it instead of kind of trying to uh, uh, trace it from memory. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick there. Go ahead and turn up the opacity all the way again because we don't need it down um, for now. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those eyebrows. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just draw kind of the uh, the eyelids for these eyes, just drooping down a little bit there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and again copy that and do the same exact thing here. Just going to bring these down just a bit here. And I'm also going to some white on there and just kind of uh, get rid of these over here uh, an easy way to do this is just get rid of the sides, get the paintbrush tool and kind of uh, paint it in and of course they use the uh, <laughs> the brush tool so I can't totally get rid of it uh, by using the paint tool alone um, so yeah All right, but anyway I realize this isn't the uh, <laughs> uh, the best looking way or the best way of doing it that makes it look nice, but uh, but it works for the uh, tutorial. Alright, so there we go. We have our eyes kind of just drooping down there. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, um, let's see. I guess I'll just do one more here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and, you know what, actually I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this really quick by deleting this layer. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer really quick. All right, so let's say that we wanted to create a, uh, for some reason, we wanted to have a uh, new layer of these eyes just being humongous and uh, just kind of freaking out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer, and let's say, or actually that's probably a bad example. Let's say um, we wanted kind of like a basically a different scene um, within, uh, basically to animate within GIMP itself um, for some reason. Uh, we wanted to kind of switch away from the eyes and go to maybe like the full character or something. Um, so what we would do is we'd go ahead and, uh, or I would go ahead and create a new layer. Um, there's probably other ways of doing this, but this is pretty much the only way that I use. Um, but anyway, uh, what we're going to do is when we get to this little, uh, little menu here, everything can stay the same except for this. Um, you can either keep it transparent or what I like to do is go white um, because it basically gives you another white canvas and with the trans uh, transparency color, I find it kind of hard to uh, to kind of draw and stuff within that because the uh, the transparency is just kind of everywhere and kind of hard to keep track. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit uh, head and hit white, hit OK. As you can see, we have a new uh, blank layer. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and set the opacity down just a bit. And actually, OK, never mind. Um, all right, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, from here create the whole character. And oh, that's why. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and create kind of the whole character here. And I realize this won't be the uh, the best version of him, but uh, but it should work. Oh, fine. All right. There we go. And let's see. There we go. And I don't know what this is, <laughs> um, but it is indeed just a simple little character. Uh, 
Alright, and there we go. So there's our little tired but mad at the same time looking character. Um, so now let's go ahead and uh, play this little animation back see what it looks like. So to do that we're going to go do filters, animation, and playback. Alright, so as you can see we have a play, step, rewind, and detach button. Um, but for now we're just going to go ahead and hit play. Alright, and there's our little animation. And uh, as you can see it's going a bit fast, um, but you can change those in the preferences uh, once we save this animation. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit stop. Or, well, play at the same time. And this little 100% thing, I believe... Yeah, this changes the speed. Um, so basically not the whole speed um, of if you were to uh, actually export this animation, but the preview speed. Alright, so there's a little animation that we have here. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, export this as a .gif file. And for those of you who don't know, .gif files are basically what you can use uh, for basically signatures on forums or websites, and uh, that's pretty much what uh, those are pretty much meant for. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Save As, and I'm just going to name it. Um, let's go ahead and name this Test. All right, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go just minimize this here. All right, and we want to select the file type. This is very important, um, or else. Uh, you will not get it as a um, as a GIF file. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, select the GIF, hit save. All right, and what we want to do is a very uh, another very important thing is we want to go to save as animation. All right, so we get the uh, actual movement of the animation itself. All right, and that's all we need to do here. Let's go ahead and go export. All right, and there we go. And as you can see, we have some simple options here. Um, you can change up the comment, uh, which is as it is uh, as it says right now it's just created with GIMP. Uh, you can change this up later um, but I'm just gonna leave it be for now. Um, loop forever uh, you can make it either keep looping and over and over and over or you can uncheck that to make it uh, just go once I believe. Um, I don't know I've never really tinkered around with that but um, you can play around with it yourself um, if you would like to. Um, and this is where you can change the actual speed of the animation itself. Um, so like we were uh, when we were in the preview window and I slowed it down um, that was just for the preview window. If you actually wanted to slow it down, um, basically the speed of the actual animation, you would go through here. And uh, as you can see, the speed is in milliseconds, uh, so just uh, kind of remember that. All right, and that's pretty much all you need for this. And just go ahead and hit save. And there we go. We have created our first, or maybe first for you, um, <laughs> animation slash uh, GIF file or GIF file and GIMP. So I hope this tutorial has helped you and uh, I hope you found it useful. So until next time, see you later.